Hiya, it's Rosie Scribbler, printmaker, artist and ageing headbanger. How to do a dry point etching using a repurposed pasta machine press. This is a dry point etching plate that I prepared earlier. I'm using some dry point ink here, a special shop mix that I got from Intaglio Printmakers. And I'm putting it on the plate with a, an Intaglio Printmakers little etching squeeze, squeegee. And then I'm taking off the excess with an old credit card. Uh, here I've used a new piece of newspaper, clean piece of newspaper, and I'm removing it with a bit of tissue. You can be, be quite brutal, but don't take too much off the plate. It doesn't have to be wiped perfectly clean. But what you do have to do is clean the edges with a rag. I've had some paper, it's Bockenford, soak in for about an hour. Uh, it's all cut to size and I'm just blotting it with some kitchen roll and a fairly cheap roller. I think that's called a brayer in America. And look, I've repurposed my uh, toaster tongs as well. I'm putting the paper uh, in place. The first layer is a little blanket, a press blanket I made from uh, a piece of felt I got from a craft shop. Then there's some tissue, then the soaked paper, and now I'm putting the little dry point etching plate face down onto the soaked paper, then some more tissue, and then the second blanket. The cat's very interested at this point. And here's the pasta machine. Now I'm holding the whole thing together very, very tightly so that the plate and the paper don't move and keep a tight hold as I put it through the machine. Grabbing it again as it's coming out the other end and then peeling it all apart. Here's the plate coming off. And results! There's my little dry point hair and that's the plate. Oh yeah, you've got to clean up. I hate people who come to the print workshop and don't clean up. So first of all, get some old tissue and some old or some old newspaper. Clean off your squeegee. Use that credit card to clean your inking slab. This is an old piece of marble from a fireplace. Again, repurposed. It makes a great inking slab. This is just vegetable oil. You don't need noxious chemicals to clean up oil-based inks. It's just vegetable oil and a rag. Give it a quick clean and with the wonders of modern technology it was very quick. I wish it was as quick as that in real life. There we are, easy peasy. And now with a bit of added cat, this is the infamous Bartopus. She likes to help me, so she thinks. It's going through again, another print. See how easy it is with the pasta machine. It, it didn't need any adjustments. It's just a bog standard kitchen pasta machine. And here's another print done. Ah, oh, she's got my rag, my cleaning rag. I think she's got her eye on that soaking water. Yep, yep. It obviously tastes better with added paper. Bockingford flavour. That's Bockingford 250 grams a square metre that I used. Intaglio Printmakers Dry Point Shop Mix Etching Ink, not standard etching ink. Intaglio Printmakers Dry Point Paper Etching Plates. Very, very cheap and very easy to use. I used Intaglio Printmakers Dry Point Tool to scratch into the etching.